Hello my friends and welcome to Open Studio D and today is a 1515 quick study work uh, of the image that I uh, selected for for today daily painting. What is 1515 quick study? Stay tuned because we're going to talk about this and also you're going to see the demo of this quick study. So let's get started. So you may ask me, what is 1515 quick study? Let me get to it. So there is a two stages and you can actually watch it on the previous video. It's called, I think it's called 15 minutes of study or quick study. I forgot. Just check my videos. And um, so there's two stages of quick studies. So the stage number one for just to start. Uh, it's two parts. One part is unlimited time of prep work, meaning you analyzing uh, painting, you're doing sketches, uh, you actually doing drawing on your canvas, and all this just for, you know preparing for your uh, painting. And this is unlimited time. I mean, unlimited is within 24 hours. I call it unlimited. Uh, like Russians, everything is like upside down. Uh, just kidding. All right, so unlimited part number one, unlimited prep work, and then you're moving to 15 minutes of actual painting. You're pushing yourself for 15 minutes to finish the 15 minutes painting. I mean, you finish painting in 15 minutes. That's what I mean. Why? Watch the video, because I'm not gonna repeat everything because I already said it in the previous video. So, prep, unlimited prep work, 24 hours unlimited <laughs> prep work, and then 15 minutes of actual painting. And then stage number two, where you actually going to, or I would, I would say you have to, or I would love you to get to this uh, stage if you want to grow as an artist, as a painter, uh, oil painter, or actually any painter. Uh, so stage number two, there is two parts as well. But first part, you remember that in the stage number one was unlimited prep work. Now we're moving to 15 minutes prep work and then plus 15 minutes of painting. That's why I call it 1515. So 15 minutes of prep work, meaning 15 minutes analyzing, 15 minutes sketch within 15 minutes, and then within 15 minutes, same 15 minutes, actual drawing on the canvas. Then you can stop, pose, you can look, make sure everything is fine, and then you're moving to another 15 minutes of painting. And you're pushing yourself to 15 minutes to finish everything in 15 minutes. I normally recommend doing this with, you can do it with a brush, and actually next video will be, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be doing same image, uh, two canvases, and one, one canvas will be brush work, and another canvas right next will be a uh, knife work, uh, palette knife work. I normally, for quick quick uh, draws uh, or quick studies, 15, 15 um, studies, I use palette knife because it's just faster and I can be more expressive, uh, more like, uh, you know, bold strokes and I don't have to, um, you know, spend time, you know, mixing the colors and so on and so on. So, um, so today we're going to do 15 minutes, uh, 15, 15, quick study and actually we're gonna do this image right here and let me tell you this story I, I'm gonna not gonna take a lot of time of your time uh, talking because I you know I can talk for hours um, so quick a story of this image uh, this image was actually sent to me this is not my image and you know I always preaching this I don't recommend using someone's images. I always recommend pushing yourself to use only your images. So you have to build your own library, photo library. So if you paint in your studio from your uh, photos or doing study, do it from your own photos. But this is kind of uh, exemption, um, or I'm giving an excuse to myself. <laughs> Uh, this image was actually sent to me by my friend, dear friend, Catherine Stats, well-known artist in the United States, uh, in our, you know, in the group of uh, oil painters. Uh, she, um, she sent me this image. I sent her some, some images. We shared some images, uh, some photos. She sent me this and uh, the reason why, because this image is actually was shot by her in Russia, in kind of rural Russia. Uh, in 19, I think it was 1972 or 1976, and the group of American uh, bikers went to Russia and to bike through Russia, I guess. Uh, 
And I, what is, this was actually during the Soviet Union. And to be honest, I'm just scratching my head and say how it was possible for Americans to actually come to uh, Russia and just ride on the bikes. It's just unbelievable. Uh, but this is true, this has happened. And she took this image, uh, two bikers that you see on the image is actually uh, two Americans from uh, this group of bikers uh, biking through, you know, like villages uh, of Russia somewhere. Um, so that's a quick story of this image. And uh, when she sent it to me, I actually she sent me a bunch of images. I already uh, finished two or three paintings uh, from this. This is the, I think this is the third one. No, two, yeah, two was sold. Uh, this is the third one, or actually this is the fourth one. This is the fourth one, wow. So, and this will be probably the last one. I, I really like Catherine Stats and I like her work and her personality and, you know, dedication to oil painting. So, Catherine, thank you very much for your dedication. All right, so this is a story. Uh, why I choose this image? When I go through my library, this image is, for some reason, getting to my nerves. So I see something, I feel something toward this image. Uh, I like it very much because I can, you know, I relate to this image, uh, even though I'm not from Russia, I'm from Crimea. Uh, but I used to live in, in Crimea, Ukraine, kind of, you know, visiting Russia for 25 years. And I, I can relate to this. I, I, I have seen those villages. I know how those people live and something, you know, I have some attachments, but I'm not sure. And this is exactly why 1515 quick studies are good for this. Because basically you, first of all, you're practicing. Uh, you know, I'm preaching daily painting. You have to at least mix the colors for 10 minutes every day. If you like tired and you don't have time, I didn't want, you know, I like, you know, let me put my body in the couch and watch the TV or something, some soap videos. Um, get your palette now, get the brush, just mix the colors for at least 10 minutes and put your check mark. Um, because you need to feel, you need to have that feeling in your hand. But uh, if you want to be more organized, push yourself to at least one hour painting daily. Evening time, you know, in the morning, whatever you have time, um, just dedicate one hour of your time to painting if you want to grow. So, this is why I choose this image to paint, to quick start it, just to see if I can pull something. If after, you know, 30 minutes, 15-15, uh, I will check it probably tomorrow, I will put it on my analyzing rack. I don't see anything. I, you know, there is no like real draw to this image, and there is no attachments like real attachments, like feelings. Uh, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna delete this image from my library, and that's it. I'm done. I'm not gonna return. If there is something, I may do maybe another study, and then if I will really will draw myself to this image and feelings, and you know, I want to say something about it. Then, uh, so if I want to say something about this, what I, you know, what I'm about to paint, then I will continue. If not, I'm going to delete it and move on to next, uh, next subject or next view or scenery and so on and so on. So, enough talking and let's get, jump on the canvas and let's start our 1515 quick study. So how we do 1515 quick study? Easy. We got timer. <laughs> I love this timer. This is a kitchen timer. Hear this, I always sleep. Is that beauty? Oh. Can beat this. All right, so let's set to 15 minutes. Um, yeah, let's set to 15 minutes.
Boom. Yeah, I'm gonna make. We're gonna make hole right here, and it's gonna be like this. All right. So we. Oops. We can stop right here. Okay. Now we're jumping on 15 minutes of actual painting. Let me set the timer. So we set the timer. Here is the proof. And let's start. So we want to paint 15 minutes, no more than 15 minutes to make sure we see the colors. We want to express ourselves with impression uh, of what do we see, what, what, I, what I see, and so on and so on. I don't know, I'm just crazy stuff.
Okay. This is it. This will be more than enough for today. Since our clock is already running. And we can analyze this painting. All right. So this is, as I said, quick study, 15, 15, quick study. Um, so what I can say is, I don't like this. This can be more, more um, contrasty and more kind of, you know, you have to hide it. I don't like this part. This needs to be more defined. More defined. Also, this is needs to be pushed away with kind of more of this color, lighter. You want to push it away and then completely completely enlightening this part right here to make sure we're moving and here's our road something like this and then the sky pick this sky Anyway, so this is the quick studying, and it's okay uh, for it now. I, I know I need to work on composition because now I don't like composition um, for some reason. Not, I know for what reason. This is not completed composition, so I need to create more shapes. Um, and again, I can fuzz with this for another hour but overall actually I like the scenery and I think there is definitely something that can be pulled from this image and from this painting uh, definitely there is no definition of this house you know this house needs to be defined this house this roof like this needs to be defined because this will show better understanding of you know the house now this house and this house right here needs to be defined better and then this needs to be pushed away actually no this guy is this tree is too high so we need to push it down so this is the tree, this needs to be pushed down, it's just too high. And again, so this is, you can keep, keep what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this for myself and I'm going to look at this tomorrow and then we'll say, okay, so this is a mistake that I, I made. And again, this is my study work. This, need, this is too high, it can be that high. And I have enough pain here so I can actually transfer it over here. This is too dark, I already see it. So this is a final 1515 uh, study, quick study. Um, I'm not really satisfied with this, to be honest. A lot of uh, everything and I don't the first first couple probably like first 10 minutes after i finished it i felt like something but i still feel something to toward the image and i know we i can pull something from it but 
this study is I'm just not satisfied so I can leave it for until tomorrow and see what I will feel tomorrow but to be honest as of, as of, as of right now I I just I need to take this it's just drawing too much attention I just don't see the composition wise I like this um, I don't like this part at all I don't like this part at all so and it's flat over here so um, I'm not sure maybe something just take from here and move it right here maybe I don't know so another thing that you need to learn uh, even if you did study and you know you kind of don't like it um, you can leave it as an example what not to do but what I know how to do, I do this. And I'm not afraid to do this because tomorrow I can reuse this canvas. And it's already kind of primed. So don't be afraid to do this and to say, you know what? Oh, I put so much you know, paint on this. It was good practice, as I said. Even mixing colors is a good. I just don't like it and it's okay to say and admit that sometimes you know our painting is not working and what we need to do just take it out so how can you reuse this canvas tomorrow or you know what else you can do I can do another study tomorrow with the same image I already have kind of everything, but I will try maybe different, different, that's it. I will try probably different palettes, uh, more different colors, the shadows, even like right now I see, see the shadows needs to be connected, so maybe there should be connection right here or here i like this i like this um i don't like this for some reason i need to break this somehow this was okay so i need to move i mean put something something right here so i can put a hole here so the light kind of you know is to draw so people uh, my viewers actually can enter right here and they can walk right here and then what? This is a block, so make sure we're not going away. Come over here and then somehow I have to push it this way, through here and then back here. So this is the challenge of this image. And other than that, um, yeah, we, can, we can try tomorrow. This will be dry tomorrow. The whole thing will be dry tomorrow. So maybe we'll do it tomorrow. We'll give another shot tomorrow. And if not, we'll just, I'll just take this image and completely delete it and I'm not gonna go back to it. So this is it for today. This is how you do quick study, 15, 15 minutes quick studies. And don't be afraid to scrape it or how I call it, shave it, all right? Save the canvas or you know, if you don't wanna save the canvas, just fold it and throw it away. Don't keep, there is a video actually, what to keep or not to keep watch it don't keep to, you know something that you don't like you need to at least like it or somehow be attached i have no attachment to this so that's why i, I just scraped it all right so wait 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 let me finish on a good note so basically uh today is the second day after i shoot that video and today i actually finished and i did uh, study number two uh, which is right here and we'll analyze this just just a bit briefly so the point of this video is to show that the study work 15 15 study work can lead you to failure can lead you to success and this is why the study work is so important for example the first study that I did with you uh, led me to the failure so but what I learned from that it led me to wrong direction I shut the door, I scrape, I, or what I call, I shave the canvas. Basically, I shut the door of this direction and I, with my second, or with this, my second uh, study work, I, I took different direction, but 
applying or um, having that uh, luggage of study number one. So mistakes that I did on study number one, I kind of avoid them on study, study number two and study number two went, uh, kind of delivered me what I want. I'm completely satisfied with this uh, painting, or well, not painting, this study work and I'm ready to move to a larger piece uh, on this. And I really like, I, I actually attached to this image right now, so I love it. Uh, so this is the purpose of the video, to say that, hey, the study work is very important, uh, can lead you to, uh, to the failure. Uh, well, all you have to do just, you know, uh, scrape it, shut the door of that direction, mark it, this direction is wrong direction, Let's go to different direction and test it. Sometimes study number two is the wrong direction. What do you do? Shut the door, take it third direction uh, to pass. And if it's, you know, if it's not working after maybe two, three, maybe three studies, uh, just, you know, um, delete that image completely or put it on the side. I normally delete it. I'm not returning to, to uh, you know, because it's I failed. In my mind, I have a fa failure. Um, kind of mode fail, fail, failure mode, if you can say that. And I just moving to to next uh, image or next scenery or whatever next next mood, <laughs> so to speak. So this is the purpose of this video. I hope you enjoy it, uh, learn from it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment, and I will get to you as soon as possible. And I will do so. So if you're new to this channel, please subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like. Hit the like, hit the bell, or opposite, I'm not sure. Anyway, just subscribe and stay tuned because I have a lot of videos coming. We'll be learning together. I have, you know, I have a lot of fun doing this and uh, I hope you, uh, you're learning from, from all these videos and you're enjoying them and then it makes sense. If you are already subscribed, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much and I'll see you next time.